fiscal year variant, we have got two types. First is year independent fiscal year variant and the second is year specific fiscal year variant. In the case of year independent fiscal year, the number and also the start and end dates for the periods are same every year. And also under this, we have got two more types that is calendar year and non-calendar year. So what does this calendar year means? Calendar year means numbers and the start dates and also the end dates are same and follow the calendar year. That means January to December. For example, if I take US, it is January to December. For the financial year 2017, for US, it starts from January 2017 and end on December 2017. Similarly, for the financial year 2018 also, it starts from January and end on December. Hence, the number of periods, starts and also the end dates are exactly same. So, this was about the calendar year. Moving on to non-calendar year. What does this non-calendar year means? In this case, the financial year that do not follow January to December pattern. Yes, it does not follow January to December. For example, India, it is from April to March. Here also, you can observe that for the financial year 2017 for India, it starts from April 2017 and end on March 2018. Similarly, for the financial year 2018, it starts from April 2018 and end on March 2019. Hence, number of periods, starts and end dates are same. But the only difference here is, its start and end dates do not follow the calendar year. Got it? Good. In case of year-specific fiscal year variant, periods can vary from year to year. So, the number of periods, start date and end dates vary based on each particular year. When I am saying start date and end date, it is as per the company's requirement for posting periods but not based on the calendar year. In some of the implementation which I have worked, especially for the Middle East countries, they follow the separate calendar, sometimes one calendar month to two periods. On such cases, we use specific fiscal variant. Yes, only on such cases we will be using that year specific fiscal variant. Another example I can give is the leap year. Yes, that is leap year. Whenever for the leap year, when February has got 29 days instead of 28 days, on such year we use this year specific fiscal variant. Yes, on such years we will be using this year specific fiscal variant. So guys, uh, I hope you now have a clear idea as what is fiscal year variant. So let's do the configuration of this NSAP system in our next video.